Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins. I'm the owner of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to review using front end estimation to solve division problems. The example that I have is 2014 divided by 53. One thing that students often struggle with is dividing by a double digit divisor like 53. So I'm going to go through the steps and show how if we estimate first, it makes it easier to solve the problem. So I want to look at the 53 and here is my dividend or the number I'm dividing. 53 cannot go into 2, so I'm going to put an X over here, over the 2, and that's primarily just to show that I'm not going to put a number over there. I want to make sure that my numbers line up correctly in order to have the correct answer. 53 can't go into to 20. I'm just going to put an X here. Now we're going to look at 53 into 201. So one way that I can try to solve this problem is just look at the five or the front end of this divisor and say, how many times could five go into 20? Well, five could go into 20 four times because four times five is 20. However, I still have the three in the ones place. So I know that four will be too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide or multiply 53 by 3 and see if that gets me close to 200 and 201 without going over. So 3 times 3 is 9. Care, uh, 3 times 5 is 15. So I have 159, which is close to 201 without going over. I'm going to subtract the 159. I'm going to put 3 over the 1 in the tens place. I can't subtract 9 from 1 because 9 is greater. I have to borrow, but there's nothing in the tens place. I'm going to go all the way over, and I'll borrow 1 from 2. This becomes 10. So now I can borrow from this, and this would become 9 and I'll bring the 10 over here and this would become 11. So 11 minus nine is two. Nine minus five is four. And now I will bring down the four in the ones place. Once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna look at the five and the 42. What times 5 will get me close to 42 without going over? Well, 8 times 5 is 40. So we're going to try, let me just take those lines out, 53 times 8. 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2, 8 times 5 is 40, 40 plus 2 is 424, which is exactly the number we have. So when I subtract it, I have 0 remaining. So 38 would be my answer. So this is just one way to solve a division problem that would simplify it by using the front end estimation. We just always want to remember that we do have a number in the ones place. So when we multiply, we want to make sure that when we our multiplier is not going to make our number greater than the number we're dividing. I hope this was of assistance. Please feel free to contact me at Mullins Tutoring if I can be of assistance.